Hello, my name is Barry Wesley and I am the inventor of the Chi Button Yoga Exercise System. Uh, the DVD you're about to see is the second in the series and I've made this uh, because it's particularly useful for those with limited mobility but of course it's a good workout for anyone. If you're unused to Chi Button Yoga there are certain principles. One is that you never use more than 80% of your effort at any one time. There's an expression and a release for each movement and the tongue goes on and off the roof of the mouth. I'll explain more about this in detail on each exercise. If you are interested and enjoy this DVD, you may like to know there is a website www.chibatten.co.uk there is a companion book to this DVD, also called Seated Chi Button Yoga, and there are other merchandise available. It would also contain details of my other classes. Thank you. When sitting in a chair to perform Chi Button exercises, make sure that your feet are parallel, if that's possible, and also that your spine is straight, that you're not leaning back into the chair. And maintain that posture throughout. When you hold the chi button, it's in the centre of your palms and you imagine that you are holding a ball. So this is the relaxed position with your thumb at a 45 degree angle. When I say express, you imagine your fingers are lengthening slightly and your thumb draws back slightly. But don't make it stiff and don't over tense. Remember the 80% rule. Chi button is generally performed to the beat of a metronome and most exercises are four beats to a breath. So I would breathe in for four beats and breathe out for four beats. If you need to extend your elbows, make sure that your shoulders stay relaxed. Don't lift your shoulders because this will cut off the blood supply to your neck. If you raise the chi button above your head, follow the chi button with your eyes and again this will release the blood vessels in your neck. When you express, you place the tongue on the roof of your mouth and you slightly lengthen the fingers as described. Also, you slightly grip with your toes, which means you raise the instep here and the toes gently claw. And that's really all we need to remember. On this first exercise, we adjust sitting still and holding the chi button. If you haven't already got the chi button, if you haven't worked with me or got an, uh, an early DVD, the chi button is roughly 12 and a half inches and it can be made of wood, it can be made of plastic, whatever. The idea is that you hold it in this position. If you're not sure about the width and the length of the chi button, it's roughly the width of your rib cage. If your rib cage had no flesh on it, it would be that width. For this first movement, have the chi button two fist distances from the centre of your chest, and then you draw your elbows outwards. Then breathing normally, we hold that position, close your eyes, and imagine a ball of energy about the size of a large marble inside your chest. And imagine that energy running down your left arm, across the chi button, back up your right arm, back into your chest. So it's spinning in a circle. And the speed of the spin depends on your personal preference. What feels right for you? Open the fountain. On this movement, as you breathe in, you draw the chi button close to your chest, spreading your elbows, and as you breathe out, the arms draw forward in a nice arc. Rotate your waist to the left as you breathe in, and breathe out. The same action. You breathe in, draw that close to your body, extend your elbows, breathe out, the arms draw forwards. Turn to the right, breathe in, 
close to the body and breathe out away from the body as a fountain and breathe in in through the nose and out through the mouth to the left breathe in express hands feet tongue on and breathe out relax the tongue to the front breathe in lift spread the elbows keep the shoulders down and breathe out elbows relax arms forward to the right breathe in and breathe out to the front nice and smooth in so there's no pauses and out to the left and in spread the shoulders and out elbows relax to the front and in this is your expression remember to lift the instep and out to the right and in and out to the front last set in spread the elbows and out elbows drop express forwards lift in express and out extend those arms and turn to the front in and out to the right and in and out to the front in and finish hold the chi button a fist to two fists distances from the center of the chest in this exercise as you breathe in you draw your right elbow outwards and breathe out lower. Then the left elbow. Breathe in, expressing, and breathe out, release. And right in, and breathe out. Keep the shoulders down throughout. Breathe in, push the elbow to the sides, express, and release. Breathe in, express, placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Release, release the tongue. And express, left arm. Release. Express, right arm. Release. Express, left arm. And finish. This one you are combining the alternate arms and it's a much longer breath. So to be careful not to over breathe. So hold the chi bat in the position as before with the elbows relaxed. So firstly, as we breathe in and express with the right elbow raises, still breathing in, left elbow raises. Breathe out, left elbow falls as we release and then right elbow falls. Then we reverse it, left elbow lifts. Then right elbow lifts, still breathing in. Right elbow falls. And left elbow falls. And right elbow lifts. And left elbow lifts. Left elbow falls. And right elbow four, still breathing out. Left elbow lifts. Right elbow lifts. Express on these movements and release as the right elbow falls. And left elbow falls to finish. On this exercise, same starting position, but this time you draw strongly both elbows out to the side at the same time as you breathe in. Four beats of the metronome. As you breathe out, you release and relax. So off we go. 
and breathe in through the nose. And breathe out, relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out to finish. So you should feel as if your lungs are now being worked like a pair of bellows. And then just relax. On this exercise, as we breathe in, we draw to the same start position, and as we breathe out, you push one arm underneath. As you rotate your central core, make sure the hips don't move or don't slide on the seat. So the full twist comes from here. Now the idea of this exercise is you breathe in to open the lungs, and then as you drive the hand under, keeping the left hand where it is, this encourages this side of the rib cage to work more than this side, to close this side. And then the same thing in the opposite direction. So you're working either half of the lungs independently. So off we go. And breathe in. And breathe out as you express. Rotate right hand under. Loop, breathe in. Start position. Breathe out, left hand under. Breathe in. And breathe out, relax. Breathe in, spread the elbows. And breathe out, left hand under first. Breathe in. And right hand under. Breathe in. And relax. Breathe in, spread the elbows. Remember to turn round your centre, breathe out, express. Breathe in. And express. Breathe in. And breathe out, relax. Final time, breathe in, spread the elbows. And breathe out, opposite arm under as we turn. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out, finish. This exercise looks similar to the last one, but it's quite different. This time we start from this position, and instead of driving the hand under, we're going to drive the hand over. So instead of compressing one side of the chest, we're going to lift and open that side of the chest. It's very important that this hand, as it is for the previous exercise, stays where it is, relative to your body. So don't drop this hand as the other hand comes over. You must try and lift above that hand, the same as you tried to drive under it for the previous exercise. So start in this position, two distances, fist distances from your chest, and you express, so that means feet, hands and tongue on, on the in-breath and release on the out-breath. Off we go. And breathe in. Express. Right hand over. Breathe out. Breathe in. Left hand over. Breathe out. Keep the shoulders down. Elbows relaxed. Breathe in. Right hand over. Breathe out. Feel it really open the rib cage. Breathe in. Left hand over. Breathe out. Breathe in, right hand over. And breathe out. Breathe in, left hand. And breathe out. And right hand. And breathe out. Left hand. And breathe out, and relax. 